So Ohio State's legislature has actually uh, passed a bill. It's called like a, a heartbeat bill, and it's like a, basically when like the fetus, you can detect a heartbeat from the fetus, uh, they are going to ban abortions right then. So let's kind of break this down a little bit. I got some quotes for you guys from this article from NPR. It's pretty good. I really suggest you read up on it because there's a ton of information that you should read regarding past cases and kind of understanding more what this bill uh, depicts. So um, anyways, here's a quote. Quote, Ohio's legislature has passed a bill that would ban abortion once a fetal heartbeat can be detected, which is typically around six weeks after conception before many women even realize they're pregnant. All right, so basically it's saying that you can de- you can generally speaking detect the fetal heartbeat like around 6 weeks after conception which is before women even know they're pregnant so that essentially bans all abortions because if you don't know you're pregnant you don't know you're going to get an abortion because that is literally impossible so that's one thing number 2 uh we'll kind of get into this um but the Supreme Court Roe v. Wade, of course, has came down and um, determined that some laws are just completely unconstitutional with women's rights towards have you know their own body, right? So this is one of those that would classify in that. But here's another quote: "Quote Jennifer, who's who's the reporter for the NPR article specifically, notes that the bill does not include exceptions for rape or incest." The only exception would be if the life of the woman were in danger. Now, this is extremely important because normally I would think that it's common ground to say that, okay, abortion should be uh, abortion should be at least allowed when there's rape or incest. I would think that's common ground for anybody, but some people are just crazy. Just put yourself in this shoe. Now, if you're a dude, you can say, okay, what if your sister was raped by somebody and this was in or it was incest, whatever you want to say, that terrible situation. And she's like 12. And <laughs> are you really going to say no abortion? You're going to have your sister who's 12 go through that type of situation? Are you retarded? Anyways, the point is, this is just fucking retarded. Hey, we got another quote here. Quote, courts in two states have struck down other such heartbeat laws. Uh... Jennifer notes, earlier this year, the U.S. Supreme Court refused to hear appeals. Before now, even Ohio right to life had warned a six-week ban would surely be found unconstitutional. And there you go. So the Supreme Court has refused to hear appeals because this shit is unconstitutional and it's been proved by the Supreme Court, of course. And even the Ohio right to life has warned a six-week ban would obviously be found unconstitutional because it was ruled by the supreme court many many times but these fuckers just simply will not die all right one last quote here quote the heartbeat bill was written by jeanette folger porter who used to be a conservative christian talk radio show uh but was reportedly let go over her radical views she founded a group called faith to action and still releases daily snippets of conservative radio commentary. So basically, the person who wrote this fucking bill is a conservative Christian who was literally let go by her network for her, quote, radical views. This is retarded. When are we going to stop this bullshit? I had another video that was talking about the douchebags over in Texas trying to do the same, almost the same shit over there, basically trying to eliminate it by making some shitty-ass terms.